Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in and welcome back to Sewing Clara. Today I have for you my final Christmas DIY for this year. We're gonna create together this beautiful advent wreath. I've used only very simple and pretty inexpensive materials and if you want to know how I made this wreath then please keep watching. Before we start though, a quick reminder, I'm now also offering digital sewing patterns on my homepage. My homepage is linked down below in the video description together with my playlist Christmas. And in general, if you are still looking for gift ideas, my whole channel is one large collection of creative ideas for many occasions. So maybe if you go through some of my playlists or older videos, you might find exactly the creative project you are looking for. And now let's jump into our today's video. I took a piece of cardboard. With the help of a large soup bowl, I drew a circle on it. And then I placed a smaller soup bowl in the center of the circle and I drew a smaller circle. Now I had outlines for the base ring of the wreath. I cut the ring out and then the ring looked like this. I grabbed a cord and I started wrapping the ring in it. I occasionally glued the cord on a few places to the ring with hot glue to secure it from sliding. I kept wrapping until I was happy with the result. I glued the end of the cord in place and I made a loop so one could hang the wreath on a door. And then I started decorating the wreath. So first I glued on the top a group of pine cones. Next, I placed a bunch of plastic tiny frozen apples on the bottom and I glued a larger pine cone next to them. And then I started gluing on silver Christmas balls and more pine cones on the sides. And then the wreath looked like this. And this could be the final result since it was already very pretty. I however wanted a bit of green so I glued on Iceland moss in the empty spaces. And here is what the wreath looked like once it was done. I decided to give it a little more Christmassy touch, so I sprayed it with a bit of snow spray, but that is of course optional. And then the wreath was finished and here is the final result. Alright, so that's how I created this advent wreath. This is going to be a gift for someone special in our family, so I sure hope that they will like it. And this is also my final Christmas project for this year. The next video is going to be again a sewing project, so stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to turn on the notifications. Like and comment on this video, that supports the channel and you can also check out the video description. My homepage is listed down below and some video suggestions that might be interesting for you. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed our today's project. I appreciate you guys very much. God bless you and see you soon. Bye.